Welcome back to the Transfer Talks podcast. My name is Tiffany Kim. I'm a Transfer Jacks peer mentor, and today I have with me Zachary James. Yes. Yes. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. So my name is Zachary. I'm a transfer student here at NAU. Uh, a little bit about me, my major right now, I'm studying uh, to get a bachelor's in finance with a certificate in economics. Mm-hmm. And then prior to that, I'm your non-traditional student, aside from like transfer student. Mm-hmm. I've been going on and off with college since 2012. Oh. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've been doing this for nearly 10 years on and off. And every time I come back, you know, it's just always I have this game plan set. And this time, third time around, uh, it's, you know, finally put into place. You know, I have my projected year to graduate. Mm-hmm. And I'm on track for that. So, and then other than that, I've been, I don't know how many students have been, but mm-hmm. at least I could say is that um, when I say non traditional, I mean like as non traditional like, as it can get. But <laughs> some of the struggles like I've been through is like mm-hmm. not only with going on and off with college, but mm-hmm. I've also dealt with like uh, the criminal justice system in and out of jail. Mm-hmm. I went to prison a couple times and then here I am, you know back on track, getting on my feet, and just uh, persevering through whatever obstacles come in my path. So it's pretty cool. It's molded me into a leader, into a better person, and never in my life would I have thought I'd be here at NAU as a student, continuing my education. So uh, you'd be surprised what opportunities, you know, Mm -hmm. the doors open uh, in life. So yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm been here in Arizona my whole life. Mm-hmm. Uh, after graduation, I plan to, you know, move away from the desert, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, adopt a new climate, a new city, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So definitely interesting and uh, can't wait to see what else unfolds down the line. So, yeah. You have a really interesting story. I heard from one of my friends, Jen. She's your mentor. Yeah. Jen. And <laughs> she's, she just, like, tells, like, such crazy stories. That, like, yeah. It's, it's just so interesting, especially the non-traditional students. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I don't think I'm considered a non-traditional student, but I am, like, one of the older peer mentors. So yeah. I definitely not – I don't, like, completely understand your, like, you know, your path. But, you know, I, I can, like, somehow, like, relate right. to it. Yeah, absolutely. And so what exactly led you to NAU, actually? Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. Like um, before I even like applied or had any thought of doing it. I don't know. Out of nowhere, I get these emails about transferring to NAU, these transfer emails. And they were just like they just build (laughs) up over time. You know, I saw them maybe for like a little less than a year, just pile up in my email Mm -hmm. and one day I just happened to be passing through Flagstaff, mm-hmm. uh, coming back from Phoenix, yeah. and I said, you know, let me check out the campus. You know, yeah. what, you know, just ask a few questions and see where I go from there. So what ended up happening was that um, I stopped at the Student Service Center right next to the bookstore, mm-hmm. um, asked some questions about you know transferring all my credits from the community college which Mm -hmm. i attended down at glendale community college in glendale arizona Mm -hmm. and they simply said it's just an application and that's pretty much it so um it was easy you know i did what they said one line did the whole transfer process everything like that and it was easy but there was an obstacle that happened was that um Mm -hmm. this was last year in 2020 uh 22 Mm -hmm. oh my gosh (laughs) and like probably like in january when i was doing this and i sent in the application i had received an email from the school and they said hold on we need to look into your criminal history Mm -hmm. before we can actually accept you as a student and i was like yeah that's fine you know i provided them whatever information i had you know a public uh database for the department of corrections and maybe a couple months went by or something. I haven't heard back from the school. Mm. And I was just like, okay, you know, maybe it's not, mm. you know, a sealed deal. That's fine. You know, there's other options out there for school. Mm-hmm. And finally, they got back to me and they're like, okay, you're cleared with the board. They mm-hmm. accepted uh, your application, everything. And then that's the green light. So uh, that was the first struggle of getting here. But it was, you know, more so just like patience and just waiting to hear back. 
Yeah. I mean, you're here now. Absolutely. Here. Yeah. So what exactly do you like about campus or NAU or Flagstaff in general? Yeah. So um, I'm no stranger to Flagstaff. Like I said, I've lived in Arizona my whole life. So mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like, whereas um, in Glendale Community College, you know, you're surrounded by that urban area of like the city of Phoenix and mm -hmm. all the other cities around there. So it's just like coming from that um, place. And then where I'm from is Page, Arizona. It's a small little town. So it's kind of like it meets both, you know, in the center. So mm -hmm. somewhere in the middle, like where it's not too big. It's not too small for yeah. me. That's what I like about Flagstaff. The seasons we get here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, finally, this is what spring looks like. It's nice. <laughs> but um, aside from that, you know, the, the college itself, you know, it's been around for quite some time. So yeah. I've known some people that have gone here, gotten their degree and done great things down the line. So mm -hmm. that's when... I chose NAU and the business college is pretty good as in itself and all the other resources here on campus. Mm -hmm. Like once you get here, your foot in the door with being a student starting that first semester, mm -hmm. like just know that there are a ton of resources here at your disposal. Like you pay a lot of money to go to the school. Yeah. So <laughs> utilize all the resources you can. That's that's what I would say. And that's what attracted me was more so the resources than anything else. So, and then on top of that, you have like the professors and yeah. networking opportunities on top of that. So it's really just honing in on all these uh, opportunities here, even mm -hmm. through like the Jacks uh, or transfer Jacks. Mm -hmm. They have so many opportunities here, just even like small little events you can attend. So there's always something to do and it keeps me busy, which I like. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, especially for NAU because at my old school, we didn't have anything for transfer students specifically. Mm. Cause you know, transfer students, um, I feel like a lot of them have the mindset. I had the mindset of like, I just need to study. I need to get my degree. I need to like get out of here. Right. But you know, the real thing is like, while you're in college, might as well enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and you're right. You're paying for it. So might as well use all the resources mm -hmm. that they give you. Absolutely. That's true. So what was one of the big, bigger like resources that kind of helped you with your transition here um definitely just the the staff involved in the, all the different departments just asking them mm -hmm. the questions and them having those answers or if they didn't have the answer right there and then they would point me to somebody else that would so uh, that's mm -hmm. like in the beginning like applying and whatnot that's mm -hmm. why i said it was like a super simple where i thought it was going to be mm -hmm. really complicated and it wasn't so uh, you know, thanks to the staff and hard work you guys pull through. So it really pays off. Well, we're glad that we were able to help you. And I'm sure, um, yeah. No problem. Yeah, there's so many names. So I'm like just making yeah. a generalization, like the staff. You yeah. know, I was like, there's so many people that have helped. So compared to like your old school, how was your experience there? Yeah, um, going from the community college in Glendale, Arizona, mm -hmm. um, the it, it was being that it was a smaller school mm -hmm. um i remember they said that at one point we had like more than asus which was like upwards toward thirty thousand students wow. but the community i would say was a little bit more um tighter because it was so small mm -hmm. and you know i was taking advantage of all things you know different clubs mm -hmm. uh student organizations uh even being on the student government so it, it was really awesome and then taking that experience with me to nau mm -hmm. and it's just opening the doors toward like other opportunities helping students vice versa and um you know here i have a i have a like other things on top of being a student outside mm -hmm. of school you know everybody does like work family mm -hmm. friends whatever it is that you're trying to balance out school but here it i feel like i take on a lot more um uh along with my like criminal history i do a program so that eats mm -hmm. a lot of time out of my schedule but it's just finding that balance you know between i feel like i have more opportunity here versus at the community college level but at the same time it's just like having the time to mm -hmm. allocate for those opportunities i think that's the difference and then of course just the size of the colleges in general you know do you mind sharing what other um uh, clubs and stuff that you're in 
Yeah, so here at NAU, um, that's the great thing. Anytime you jump into any semester, there's always these like, you know, club fairs, uh, mm -hmm. uh, club rush, however you want to uh, call it. Mm -hmm. But um, at the beginning, I came in here just like any new student to uh, NAU and just kind of like not knowing what's going on, mm -hmm. whatever. So I remember one day there was just a club fair down the uh, outside of the Union in front mm -hmm. of Starbucks, just that pathway. There's a bunch of like clubs just everywhere. And mm -hmm. there were quite a few that caught my attention. But of course, you know, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm interested, but, you know, I probably don't have time. Mm -hmm. um, but one that stood out to me was Delta Sigma Pi. And they were the co-ed business, business professional fraternity here mm -hmm. on campus. And, you know, just their values, the the mission and goal behind them, it stood within line with what I wanted and being that it was part of the business college, it just seemed, you know, to go together so well. Mm -hmm. So I ended up uh, pledging, doing the whole pledge process with Delta Sigma Pi. Mm -hmm. And then last semester, fall 2022, mm -hmm. I actually became a brother. Uh, and now today I serve on the executive community as oh, the wow. vice president of Ooh. alumni relations, chairman of fundraising. So that's what I mean by opportunity. It's out there mm -hmm. you make time for it. Um, and then on top of that, I'm trying to like, uh, attend other mm -hmm. organizations just to get a feel for it. Like there's, um, the information systems association, ISA mm -hmm. also through the business college, you know, just to get a little bit more, uh, a feel for like software and technology within the business realm mm. which is cool and then there's like um the they go by the acronym able it's american indigenous mm -hmm. uh business leaders that's through um just like right next door at the native american culture center mm -hmm. and they're cool they have like a bunch of opportunities uh because that's my background that's uh i'm native american so mm -hmm. it feels nice to have that you know connection mm -hmm. with like a homestead feel, uh, connecting with people from your culture. So mm -hmm. that's always great. And I know there's like a plethora of other things out yeah. there uh, with the transfer uh, jacks. You know, I try to attend as many events as mm -hmm. I can <laughs> due to how busy my schedule is. I mean, if there's food, yeah. I'll probably be there <laughs> at any event. So why not? You know, that, that's a really good selling point, you know, Dude. absolutely. Dude. Yeah. But it's nice to uh, know that you found your like kind of group. Mm -hmm. like you found your place at NAU Absolutely. and I feel like for transfer students it might take a little bit because they're just trying to like learn more about the college while like mm -hmm. you know we there's kind of like a stigma um that transfer students they should know where everything is at they should mm -hmm. know where like what how like everything that's going on because you're not considered like a first year right yeah and then like a lot of us are relatively older, so it's like, you know, like, you, you should know what you're doing, that kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah. But, like, yeah, how, how has that made you feel, like, being a transfer student? Yeah, I mean, um, as far as, like, experience on my belt prior to NAU mm -hmm. with uh, college, I already attended college with a total of four years prior to coming to NAU. Mm -hmm. Had no degree, but, you know, kind of knew the ins and outs as far as, like, you know, I mean, like mm -hmm. stuff like scholarships, applications, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But when it comes to like actually being on campus and finding resources and whatnot, it's like I said, uh, the difference between my community college versus mm -hmm. NAU, it's much bigger. There's a lot of resources. I feel like almost like every month I'm finding out there's something new. <laughs> like um, when I first came here last semester in the fall of 2022, mm -hmm. like I didn't want to purchase a laptop because with mm -hmm. the scholarship money I had, I had to be careful with like how I budgeted it. Yeah. So I found out I was able to get a laptop rental through the library, yeah, you, you know, just three days at a time. Mm -hmm. The long term was already out of the question because students had already got it, mm -hmm. but that was cool. And then learning to find out like different resources just within the library itself mm -hmm. is just crazy. Like they have like audio equipment, yeah. videos, cameras that you can rent out their 3d printing lab is free to a certain mm -hmm. extent and it's just like wow you know i had no idea that we had those resources yeah. i just found out like last month in the business college like i'm able to print out like uh flyers and stuff mm -hmm. without using my own like 
Jack's account mm -hmm. money, whatever I put on there. So, you know, that, that was crazy. Like I'm just barely found out little things here and mm -hmm. there. The HLC, I remember last semester, mm -hmm. I, I thought you had to pay to go there. So when I found out, um, being a student here full time, I didn't have to pay because it's already incorporated yeah. into the tuition. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Oh wow, that's great. So, you know, that's another great resource there. And then just like when it comes to like being involved in these groups and like clubs and stuff, utilizing resources beyond what you can think there are, mm -hmm. like with uh, the events coordinator, the NAU police mm -hmm. and all these things, you know, to coordinate an event to make it happen. Mm -hmm. It's just like, wow, you know, and that's also at the same time building that experience under your belt. So it's like it's beneficial. It's a win win for everybody, you know, yeah. and I, I, there's always something new to learn here. Yeah. at the university yeah honestly i work here and i learn stuff every <laughs> yes. week yeah i learned like oh that, that building is actually you know hlc and stuff like that right yeah because yeah. you know i feel like i'm also a transfer student and you know it's just difficult to like find out information all at once like mm -hmm. as you stay here longer you learn more oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah it's like the more you know yeah and that's the great thing about asking questions when you don't know something i know mm -hmm. that like when a lot of students come in whether transfer or just like new from like that transition from high school to college, mm -hmm. always ask questions because, you know, that's the way you're going to learn. That's the way you're going to find out about, you know, resources, opportunities and whatnot. So mm -hmm. don't be quiet. Just always ask a question, even if it's a dumb question, mm -hmm. like, you know, still ask it. Yeah, honestly, it helps. Mm -hmm. It might help us learn something too. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of that, mm -hmm. what's another piece of advice you would like to give to incoming transfer students? Yeah, incoming transfer students, like, I'm not sure where a lot of people's mindsets are when they're, like, thinking about that transition step, mm -hmm. whether if it is from a community college or a different university, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, I would say don't make excuses, just make time, uh, you know, set time aside to go and tour the college, go and see and ask these questions to the different departments that mm -hmm. you're interested in as far as, like, majors go and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, just simply ask, like, around, uh, you know, not even here at the college, but maybe in the area, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know that this is more so a college town. And, yeah. you know, a lot of people have their input on it. So um, don't be scared. Don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's a thing, too. Like, you know, try it out for a semester. If it doesn't please, you know, you or up to your standard, there's always the opportunity to transfer elsewhere, too. So it's not... Yeah. You know, like, oh, I'm going to waste my time and money, you know, get whatever classes you need to hear. If it doesn't work out for you, you can always opt out and go transfer to somewhere else. But, yeah, definitely uh, for transfer students, you know, don't hesitate, you know, especially if you're coming from one of those, like, smaller mm -hmm. uh, uh, universities or colleges, you know, don't don't feel pressured to, like, oh, that those are the big dogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, jump in with us. We're all... We're all lost here. We yeah. all need guidance and we all do that by helping one another. So that's yeah. pretty cool. That is really good advice. Mm -hmm. So um, another question, if you could go back and change anything about your transition to NAU, what would you change? Um, like I said, like in the beginning, I was mm -hmm. getting hounded by these emails for at least mm -hmm. like a little less than a year, but like definitely if I had to like go back and change things was to be to do it earlier, to do the transfer mm -hmm. process earlier. And uh, most of the time, like when I'm asked that question about like past, like what would you change? I would always say nothing because you can't change the past. But, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, for those that are listening, you know, transfer mm -hmm. students or not, you know, uh, definitely jumping on it, you know, yeah. you know, that's when you get old as I am I'm 28 I'll be graduating <laughs> when I'm 30 you don't but look like it. you don't look like it. <laughs> yeah yeah time, times are very precious so mm -hmm. you know when you're younger you kind of like just get to college and you're like uh you know I'm just living my life that's cool but like mm -hmm. just keep in mind like time goes on and that's something that you can't get back so definitely jumping on these things earlier than later and then same thing with like scholarships and whatnot like mm -hmm. when I first applied as a transfer student here, I was already mm -hmm. like the transfer award scholarship uh, mm -hmm. was, you know, given to me. And I was mm -hmm. like, wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, just for filling out the application and being accepted, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's when I knew I was like, 
here for you know uh, good reasons and good intentions mm -hmm. here and that the college had uh as well as good intentions so yeah yeah that's really nice I, I especially like hearing your story too because i've i haven't met a lot of people who who've done like four years of education beforehand because yeah. i did that as well and mm -hmm. i didn't receive my bachelor's degree yeah and like it just feels very like not a lot of people do that so mm -hmm. very nice to hear your story absolutely yeah so it's never too late yeah you know it's not a it's not a sprint as they say mm -hmm. it's a marathon so it's like <laughs> i've been doing this on and off for 10 years so it's like you know now it's time to hit that finish line for me yeah, <laughs> you're almost there yeah almost absolutely there. yeah so now we're gonna go into like rapid fire this or that edition and right. so okay so any you gold or any you blue hmm I love gold, mm -hmm. but my favorite color is blue, so I'm gonna have to go with the blue. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, North or South Campus? I find myself at the South Campus a lot more, mm -hmm. but I feel like North Campus has a lot more departments and things. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of like a balance between two. But South Campus for sure. South Campus feels so spread out to me. It though. does. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I get like a good mile or two in just yeah. walking around there okay uh sun or snow um definitely sun <laughs> i've been here in arizona for a long time mm -hmm. and i can deal with the heat the snow no i, I cannot <laughs> deal with the heat really yeah oh. i'm from st louis so it's oh. it, we have all four seasons and right. phoenix itself just feels like you're stepping into an oven yeah it does and flagstaff i don't know how the apartments they don't have ac for the most part really yeah huh you haven't experienced that well the, <laughs> i i live on off-campus student housing mm -hmm. the jack mm -hmm. and i was told like that too like they're like oh yes the apartments don't have ac i was like what and then like i guess i'm on the fifth floor so it does have ac we have uh -huh. like our own we control it and everything that's, that's very nice yeah blessed but um uh, good luck to y'all out there for the summer. <laughs> yeah, it gets like 90 something degrees in apartments sometimes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's when you go on a fun trip to Safeway just to walk around. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and what about fall or winter? Uh, Definitely fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like how around here with the aspen trees, they change colors. Very pretty. The weather's nice mm -hmm. and it's just a good time. And let's see, uh, the dube or the hot spot? Mm, that's a hard one. Oh, really? Yeah, for me, because like it's both. I think I'd rather choose the dube because it's closer to my vicinity of where oh, I'm always at. I see. But the hot spot does have like other options too. You know? So the dube. Okay, okay. Uh, fall semester or spring semester? Um, hmm. I would say fall only because I feel like there's more festivities going on mm -hmm. and it's just the season to be out here. Yeah. And I don't know. It feels like there's, it's just always something to do in the fall. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like spring semester goes by way too fast? It does. I'm like, what? It's already April. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. We have um, four weeks of school left. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, it's going to go by quick. Yeah. Um, Morning classes or evening slash afternoon classes? I'm definitely a morning class person, but I'm not a morning person. Yeah. So explain that. Explain yeah, that. <laughs> it's just, it motivates me to, because like last year or last semester, mm -hmm. I took math in the morning, eight o'clock. I think that's the oh, earliest you can take in class. That's rough. But yeah, and that was always a struggle to get up. Sometimes I would just get up and just put my backpack on and go. Like there's no breakfast, nothing. I was just like, <laughs> But it feels good to get that out of the way and mm -hmm. then carry on with the rest of your day. So that's how I look at it. Like it's the first thing I can get done yeah. in the morning or for the day. Mm -hmm. it, it does feel nice when you're like done with classes by like 2, 2 p.m. or something. Right, yeah. You have, you have the rest of the day. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I had like classes in the later half of the day, I feel like more tired and like yeah. just not with it. But yeah. What about uh, Union or HLC? Um, I think the union, just cause like mm -hmm. I've been to the HLC, it's cool and mm -hmm. everything in there. Um, there's a 
bunch of study areas in there, quiet mm -hmm. areas, uh, study rooms. But I feel like the union has it all here, like mm -hmm. with the different food options, Starbucks just right here. There's different areas to go around here mm -hmm. and just, uh, you know, sit down and study, breakout session, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, the union's where it's at. Okay. So um, that pretty much uh, concludes what um, we're going to talk about in our episode. Do you have anything you would like to add? Anything you would like to plug or anything? <laughs> mm, I would just say, like, you, just, like, some advice for all mm -hmm. the listeners out there, no matter what you're going through, whether if it's, like, mm -hmm. you're trying to, like, go into college, complete it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, there are always going to be struggles. There are always going to yeah. be obstacles to endure. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a saying that if you, what you grow, what you go through, you grow through. So, yeah. you know, like, like I said, you know, it, it takes me 10 years to get where I'm at right now mm -hmm. through the hurdles of like being incarcerated, coming out of that, mm -hmm. being here. And it's just like, I don't stop no matter what, you know? So hopefully that shed some light on, uh, other people's situations, mm -hmm. what they're dealing with, like, you know, nothing should stop you and that you should always like, you know, find that motivation within yourself and continue mm -hmm. what you want to do in life. Yeah. So thank you very much for being on our podcast. Um, we appreciate you coming in and sharing your story. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>